Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Clash Royale video on the YouTube channel, and today's topic of discussion is the most hated Ro Clash Royale card, and that is the Royal Giant. So, if we throw this bad boy right here, or I don't even have him upgraded to be honest, so I can't really see his stats or anything, I just see the tower damage and the health he does. Really the most annoying card in the game right now is the Royal Giant, and if you take a look Pretty much any Royal Giant deck I've been facing, I've lost to. Let's go down to here. I've been facing a lot. Like, that, that one was weird. That was a 4.0 Elixir Royal Giant deck. And I lost to it with my bait deck, guys. I was... Ah! Ah, and here's another one. Royal Giant Barbarian Musketeer. Like, how do... <laughs> I was getting really pissed when I was facing those. So, if I would have rained Lava Hound. But look at the deck I had. I had three Musketeers. You think I'd actually fair decent but look at that fireball level 9 fireball smacked my musketeers in one shot since they're mine are only at level 8 uh, I was trying out so many decks guys we actually beat a royal giant user but I, I it pisses me off every time I see one for some odd reason because to me royal giant takes no skill to play and if we take a look at one of my clan members here who is actually the number one guy that's how you know Hydra has zero skill with any other deck Oh, he's actually not using the Royal Giant. He, but he uses Royal Giant deck. I'm just joking, Hydra. Just, just calm, calm down. Take a chill pill. But anyways, guys, we're going to be using this deck today. It's kind of been my crime fighter against Royal Giant users and Golem users. I would say Golem and Giant, Royal Giant right now, the meta. I try to stay away from the meta as best I can. I try to use something else. Obviously, Elite Barbarians, they're always, to me, going to be in the meta because of how strong they are. If you get them on a tower, those Tower Seekers, man. Uh, Miner, just get some chip damage. The Knight is actually... I see the knight in a lot of decks right now for some odd reason. He's a good tank, and if you actually get him to the tower, he does an substantial amount of damage, guys. Like, he does as much as a royal giant does, but he has a little bit less hit points. Actually, let's take a look at the hit points. Well, this is my... Eh, yeah, he's got way less, but you see, he does almost the same damage as royal giant, so you can get him on that tower protected with the miner. Man, people, I actually... I, I think it was this match right, Jazir... Uh, which one was it? I want to say... Eh, I don't, I don't know. But let's watch this Sparky one, because obviously you don't see Spark in this high up at all, because Sparky's absolute ass, and there's so many counters to it. So he's going to go ahead and drop a Furnace down. I push the other lane on the other side because of where he uh, placed his Furnace, and it's actually going to work out for me. I'm going to get some great tower damage. He gets one smack on my tower with those uh, Fire Spirits, but we brought his tower down to 1824 with just... Six elixir, man, and he wasted. You saw how much elixir he wasted. Three, four, and then one. So he wasted eight elixir on uh, six. So I'm up on two. I'm up two elixir right now on him. I go ahead and drop a pretty awesome combo. I think one of the best combos in the game right here is the knight plus the dark goblin. Just because if you leave it alone, he does so much damage. Look, look at the dark goblin go. Oh, we, we're a little bit. Battery's going down, you guys. But look at the Dark Goblin go, man. He just goes, dude. He brought that tower down to 234. So I go ahead and push the opposite lane here with a Miner, hoping that he plays something on it. Didn't think he would. I knew he had a Giant in his deck, because you don't run Sparky by himself. I'm going to go ahead and zap here, drop some E-Barbs. He's going to go ahead and uh, freeze me right there. But Bob Blamo, we're going to take him out right there easily. That's that's easy. Sparky's so easy to counter. Uh, now, he does bring my tower down to 1834, but we have a... Gnarly push coming back at him right now. We're gonna get that tower down so low. Both towers very low. And we're, we're looking good, guys. We have both health, we have two healthy towers. He actually swapped lanes, I think, on us, which was substantially interesting. But, anyways, he's coming, he's gonna play nothing on that minor. So I was like, okay, you know, like, you do you, boo boo. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna drop off a push that's actually gonna end the tower right there. Just a knight in front of some goblins right here. Definitely gonna end the tower. That princess shoots the goblins on the left, but my knight plus those other stab goblins get the job done. Goblin gang is really one of my my favorite decks right here, guys. Here's what's good about now that tower being down is I can counter Sparky in that middle happy ground area to where I don't have to worry about him. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and zap, drop some elite barbarians on him, and that's gonna get the job done right there. He's actually gonna hit me with a nice uh, zap right here too. So I'm going to have to drop off my Dark Goblin to defend as well. And uh, pull that Mega Minion too, so that Dark Goblin takes it out. I'll go ahead and drop a Knight on that Furnace right there, just to take it out. And now we're starting to chip. I think, yeah, this does go 2-1. to 2-1 to one right here. But we have that tower down to 18 or 877. And he has a Sparky plus a Giant. I thought to myself, 
Why don't I pressure him and go for the three crown? I don't know why I thought this guy's. I, normally I wouldn't do this, but I had I had a I had a pretty good elixir advantage here, where I could have I, I I could stop and halt the uh, Sparky. Like look at, look at this Sparky placement. Look at us take this Sparky out real easily. So then and then all we did have to do is log it. But he does have a giant and a mega minion on my tower. There's nothing I can really do. I could have I could have probably defended right there a little bit better. Maybe drop my uh roll or my uh my uh elite barbarians but this is gonna finish the match right here minor plus the uh <laughs> this dark goblin he drops an ice wizard on him what a weird what a weird way to combo that but anyways guys that's gonna do it for that match so let's hop into a live one and see if we can't get the job all right our first battle is gonna be against the vilio 45 and let's see what we can do against him guys let's go ahead and drop a yeah, let's just show them. Let's show them elite barbarians right off the bat. I'm feeling. Oh, look at that, guys. That was well timed right there. Hit him with the GG. Let's go ahead and throw a minor two in here. Let's go. Just hit him with the. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him good right here. Nice. We're gonna get to that tower. Hit him with the zap. <laughs> nice. Getting some good damage done with the elite barbarians, and now we can drop our uh, dark goblin. To take out this. Uh, what's your what's your majinger? Mega minion. That's what we call that. So let's put the knight in. He's going to have to react off of this. Yeah, this is a deadly push coming at him. So now we can drop Goblin Gang on him. And yeah, this might look good for us, guys. I don't know what kind of other uh, spells he has, but we are doing some decent damage. Keeping the pressure on. See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Got so many of these Royal Giant users. It's insane. It's so insane to see all these Royal Giant users. So think about what I want to do. I don't want to drop my... Yeah, let's go. I can, I can drop my Miner in right now. Let's just do it. Mine are going in. Nice. Gonna get some job. Gonna get the job done right there. And now we can go. I want to go ahead and uh. I want to get my log right. Actually, let's zap. And now we can do this too as well, just in case he drops a royal giant. Boom, taking all that out. And now we can drop off this. This is going good, guys. See, this is my royal giant deck. This is the deck I've been using to combat royal giant, and it's been working. Actually, he's gonna drop some barbarians on us. Which is okay. I figured that he would add barbarians. Most royal giants have barbarians too, as well. Uh, but we have that tower down to 321, and we are just a couple miners away now from taking out this tower. So that, that's it's working pretty good, guys. Hey, I like I like it when a deck works. Nice dark goblin's gonna come in and finish it. Let's go ahead and drop our knight off right here. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and zap and log. Boom. Taking everything out. Look at the Dark Goblin, guys. Look at him go. And let's drop Elite Barbarians in the opposite lane. He's going to have to defend off of that. And we, we, look at this, guys. Look at the push we have on him right now. This is opposite lane pushing with his deck. And we have our tower. Uh, it's, 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 it's okay. It's not the healthiest tower known to man, but we're doing good, guys. Let's go ahead and drop off the Dark Goblin here in the middle. Plus, look at the Dark... Look at the Dark Goblin, guys! Look at him go, man! He is an animal! And then we we are... Look at this, guys. This is going to go two crowns. I, I wanted to go two crowns. I don't really care, to be honest. See, look at him go. Let's go ahead and drop a knight in the middle. And then fireball. He's He can fireball that. We are good, guys. We are set to win this one. Nice. Doing some work. Zap. Two crowns. Look at this, guys. I love that. I love, that is your standard Royal Giant users. <laughs> <laughs> good game good game but that is like literally that is what i'm talking about guys that is the standard royal giant deck i'm surprised he, if normally if he would have had fire spirits that actually kind of counters my deck pretty well uh he could have logged fire spirit probably taken out my e-barbs but we actually almost have our e-barbs to level 12 i think yeah look at that 200 more huh? or 197 more but yeah dude the royal giant those users man look at that another one level 12 to level 11 with a level 12 i had a level 11 with level 13 royal giant one time and i was i kind of just put the ipad down and said you know what I'll, I'll i'll take it all right level 10 is actually a better matchup for us because we are level 11 as well and we have level 11 cards except for a couple uh some of our commons obviously up to par like our um like our goblin gang going in right here he's got zap he's got it he's got us he's got zap folk taking all that yeah yo hey doing work he's gonna miss the zap look at the tower damage oh that's what i'm talking about now we can go ahead and log and uh take out the princess too as well 
Wow, guys, what an opening start to this game. Hey, I like it. I like it. He's only done a little bit of tower damage to us, too. Let's go ahead and drop down another Dark Goblin to see what we can do here. Just chip, 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 chip. Nice, we are doing it. Hey, he's going to actually come in with a Sparky. Say what? Let's go ahead and drop off a Knight here. Let's see if we can't cycle back to our Zap. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Um, it's great. It's okay if he drops something else. I'm not, I'm not saying it's not. Oh, let's go ahead and go here. Let's pull. And then let's go ahead and hit him with a Zap 2 as well right there. And then we can go actually go here and split our E-Bards on this Sparky. Look at that. Taking them out. He's actually got E-Bards. This is an interesting deck we're facing right now. Uh, okay. We're going to have to go ahead and go here with a Miner. We're going to have to just keep the pressure on him. Because he's got an interesting deck too as well. Uh, let's, go, let's just go Dark Goblin here to take down this. Kind of want to save my log for his princess. Uh, just in case he plays it. Yeah, there comes the log in coming in now. So now we can go ahead and go... We gotta save the knight actually for the e, e barbs when he comes in. Ah. See, this is this is an interesting deck, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm a little bit interested to be 100% honest. Let's go ahead and make him use his uh his zap early maybe. Oh, there we go. We got him to pull off that. So he's gonna come in with this. Let's go ahead and hit him with a zap and then get this going and then get this down too as well. Pull. And then we can do this too as well. Just getting everything out of the way. Oh no. Get him out. Get him out. <laughs> hey, we got to get him going, guys. We got to get this going right here. Actually, we should take tower maybe right here. Uh, let's get a dark goblin here in the back. We're going to have to be a little bit better with our dark goblin placement. And uh, see if we can't get the job done right here, guys. Let's go ahead and go knight. Zap. And then uh, drop off this too as well. Drop off. Nice. Getting that down. Nice. Now we should drop a miner in. That's a push. That's a push right there in the half. That's how you defend against this Sparky. Uh, these Sparky users, guys. They're a nuisance. <laughs> nice. Getting the tower down. We can go ahead and log here, too, as well. Uh, let's pull off into the middle. And then pull this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's got, he got an e bomb. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Okay, that's going to do it for today's video. Wow, what an intense match from... That was an interesting deck. That's two Sparky users in my last three, guys. I didn't expect that. So we're back up to 4,287, 4, and my highest is 4,318. Let's see if we can't break that in the next video. I'm kind of done playing for today. But yeah, another closing notes, guys. We got Retro Royale. Expect a video later tonight, possibly on that too as well. And that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys once again for 3,000 subscribers. We are going to be doing a giveaway on 3,000 when i get the chance to do it and i'll announce that here in the future we already, we already have the people who were entered from last video if you were uh entered from last video don't worry you'll be entered and i did delete that video by i wrote down everyone who entered so don't don't sweat it don't sweat it i'll enter you guys in but we're still doing the 15 dollar itunes and 50 dollar google play so stay tuned for that guys and that's gonna do it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video smash the like button once again thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers it's awesome we're still growing uh slower pace than last time but uh we'll, we'll get there we'll get there that's gonna do it for today's video guys i'm out peace